Hi, Lauren Swart here from Cape Town. Friends call me Blackie. I'm a maxillofacial surgeon in private practice. Our protocol rests on four pillars. The first is to know exactly how the ventilation in your practice works, because each practice will differ. And this ventilation will determine the time required for air volume change in your office. The longer this time is, the longer you must wait between patients. If you have a high efficiency ventilation system or auxiliary units like air sanitizers, you can lessen the time between patients. The second pillar is to use high volume evacuation, known as HVE. Third, as a general rule in dentistry, rubber dam should be used whenever possible, as it virtually eliminates aerosolization of saliva, especially in combination with HVE. The final pillar is the use of appropriate PPE for each procedure. We classify procedures into two categories, those that produce aerosols and those that do not. My practice has a good ventilation system supported by a reputable air sanitizer. After any aerosol generating procedure, the patient is escorted to the waiting area, while the assistant with PPE and respiratory protection still intact, clears the room and begins the instrument sterilization process. Next, she performs deep cleaning. Here we use wipes rather than a spray due to the respiratory hazards inherent with sprays. Once deep cleaning of surgery and sterilization areas is complete and the time for the disinfectant to work has elapsed, usually two to five minutes, the next patient is permitted to enter the surgical area. These extra precautions obviously affect our change over time. For us, it's typically 30 to 45 minutes between surgical cases. Given the favorable literature, I also use fogging with hypochlorous acid in the rooms.